All right, guys, welcome. This is SmartHelping.com, and it is the first Excel model I'm doing in my own home, in my own office. Happy days. So it's March 4th, 5 10 p.m. Eastern Time. And this is part of. I've done this in a couple models before, and I've done this for a few different clients. Um, it's a break even analysis. And you will see this when you're trying to get a loan through SBA.gov. They want you to fill one of these out. And it might be difficult to do if you don't have all the math for you um, automatically generated for you, which SBA does not do, but you have to fill in the correct numbers, obviously. So this would help with that. This would also help any business owner get an idea of their break-even situation. So how does it work? Well, I've tried to make it really easy. I've added, you know, a bunch of uh, fixed costs, a bunch of variable costs that are expandable and droppable. So if you just want to see the aggregate here, you can, or if you want to expand it, you can. No problem. You will change every blue cell is editable so this is what you're going to be putting in then based on what your fixed costs are and your variable costs it's going to tell you how much money you have to make in order to break even now it's very important to understand what this means and to understand it you have to know these fixed costs are incurred whatever period these are incurred in is what the break even is for so if if these are your fixed costs for a whole year then this is what you need to make annually to break even if these are your costs for a month then this is your monthly break even so what that's up to you to know you have to know what costs you're putting in for your business you know when they're incurred so you can determine you know in what time frame you actually have to make this amount of sales to cover all your costs so the fixed part is simple you know you just put in you know your rent your utilities uh, web hosting anything like that all your fixed costs then the variable costs are costs that go up with your sales count so let's say for every let's say this is um, let's say I'm making widgets and I need a cap for each widget and that cap costs 10% of um, or that for every dollar sold it's cost me 10% so if I sell $10 it costs me a dollar worth of caps if I sell a thousand dollars it's going to cost me a hundred dollars worth of caps. So let's say I build f uh, a thousand, just to demonstrate what this means. Let's say I build a thousand. Oh, my keyboard died. Hold on a second. Oh, well, I guess I don't need it. Let's just say I'll just try to tell you it. So you you sell a thousand widgets. $100 goes to caps, $100 goes to uh, oil for your machines, $100 go so these are just costs that are a percentage of your total sales and so they go up and down ba or your total units produced however many however much you sell a certain percentage is going to go to these types of costs so in the end you have a thing so let's just like kinda do one so let me just clear out everything except for one so let's say I make uh, candles it costs me in one year for all my utilities rent building machinery all my hard costs let's say it's fifty thousand dollars and dang it I forgot I can't edit this or pause the video oh there we go Okay, so let's say it costs fifty thousand for one year, and let's say within that time, uh, I have to buy Wix and uh, I have to pay wages. So 
for every um, one dollar worth of sales I spend ten cents on Wix and every dollar of sales I spend ten cents on labor so a hundred dollars in sales it would equal ten dollars in labor now it's up to you also to figure out what your variable costs are you're gonna have to know that and to calculate variable costs you can simply take you know figure out what percentage you know figure out like last year what were your total sales or what are your projected sales and what are your projected labor costs for those sales and just divide your projected labor costs divided by the sales then you got a percentage and then that percentage will scale up and down as your sales projections go up or down so I'll say I only have two variable costs here so 20 percent I got total cost of 50,000 so now what this calculator will tell you is you have to sell make sixty two thousand five hundred dollars to cover this fifty thousand plus these costs and if you want to check that we can simply go okay so if my sales are sixty two thousand five hundred and I say twenty percent of that's going out to variable costs so now I've got twelve thousand in variable costs I've got fifty thousand in fixed well, what does that equal sixty two thousand five hundred which is my break even now whatever I change it to let's say we have some more costs fifteen percent ten five so I've added cost here so it means for every dollar I make I am actually my gross profit is less so now look at I have to make a hundred thousand if my variable costs go up by that to still break even and you can see there are fifty percent Let's keep going. Let's add, you know, 15. So let's say my variable costs are 82 cents. That means for every dollar I spend, I'm only keeping 18 pennies. So I have to sp to make, you know, basically X amount of do dollars, so that 18% will equal 50,000, and that's the logic. So now at that rate, my break-even is 277,000. Now I did some percentages here on the side too, so it shows each fixed cost as a percentage of sales. And then also each variable cost, it shows the dollar, since we already obviously the percentage is going to be manually input here. And that way you can kind of see how everything's made up. And I thought that there's an issue, but no. This is 227,000. This is 277. So let's say, let's take some of this away. There we go. So 66, 116. Okay. So that makes sense. Now, the other thing that I've added is visual for your total variable and fixed costs. So you can see what percentage, you know, what has more and that's the analysis it's really simple the key I found with Excel models is is it simple enough that anybody can use and for this case you know as long as you know all your costs any business in the whole world no matter what it is can plug in this information and find out what their break-even is and then we can also add say you want um, desired net profit percentage let's say you want to make a 25 percent net profit so we continue with our analysis I can make that an input and say um, sales goal so now your sales goal is this times one plus that so now you actually need to make 145,000. And if you make 145,000 in this case, 
your net profit margin is going to be 25%. Now, if you want to make a 50% margin, you have to make 174,000. If you want 10%, you only got to make 127. Now, what's that saying? Well, let's say let's put it back. Let's say 35% your goal. So, well, if we have sales of 156,977, you take away your fixed costs here. You're at 106. Then you take away your variable cost, which is a percentage of sales. Now, hold on, let's see. This might get a little bit tricky. Let's see, did that work? Hold on a second. Stand by. Now this logic gets a little bit tricky because we've got our break-even sales and we've got our variable cost, but then if we say our, our profit goal is this, we actually would have to adjust all these percentages. Well, because if we say our sales goal is 35%, or if our target that, our sales goal goes up, well, if we make this, we know that the variable costs will change. So we can't really do that because you're only getting, for every, for every $1 more you make, you're not actually making a full dollar profit. You're only making, you're making that full dollar profit less 57% of your variable costs. So let me see if I can work a formula out real quick. Stand by. Okay. So we have this um, figured out. So now you can put in whatever you want here. Say you want desired net profit 25%. This means your sales goal is now 277000 And if we do our math here, you got so your sales goal, let's say you hit that, your fixed costs. equal that as we've already got calculated your variable costs are going to be this and then net profit and hold on a second. Oh shoot. And what currency that is? Armenian. Okay. So if that's your fixed cost, here's your variable cost. Your net profit would be your total sales minus fixed minus variable. Now what are we missing here? What are we missing? Stand by. I just had the formula. Okay, here we go. So our variable costs actually are going to equal our new sales goal times the total variable cost percentage. And now we come to a net profit that makes sense. And you can see that is 25%. So there's your checker. Here's like your check if you want to do this. And this is basically a profit target analysis. So we got a break even and then if you want to know, well, I don't want to break even, I actually want to make money, then this will also tell you, well, how many how much total sales do you need to make within the period that you're accruing all those fixed costs? 
in order to make a given profit target and that's this number <laughs> right here uh, so let's make this green as well and there you have it and then I just put the cost so you could just back into the number so you can double check it is you know that all that makes sense let's say I only want to make 10 percent net profit well then I only need to make 151,000 and if this is my yearly cost then I need to make 151,000 for the year in order to have a $15,000 take home let's say I want a 50 percent net profit based on my costs that means well there's not enough now why is that negative we can go to 40 40 anything above f that goes negative because that means the variable costs are too much which let me see here oh that would mean the okay I know what that means that means there's not enough room so if you add up all your variable costs you're at 57 if you go if I go over 43 that means for every dollar I spend I'm actually there's not there's no room so you can see here watch 43 should work yeah that's zero so 42.999 <laughs> you gotta make a whole lot of money because you're making a very very small percentage on every dollar so to make a 43 percent return you actually have to make this much which is an insane number so put it at say 40 percent you only need to make 1.6 million and you can make 666,000 you're still in the positive even at that such a low margin or such low room left so basically you have 57 percent taken up in variable costs and if the rest is net profit 1.6 million will get you to that margin so this is like a nice tool to back into um, a sales goal now I'm trying to think if our visual, if we want to add anything, I think we can. We can add the desired net profit sale, or the sales goal given the desired net profit. Eh, that doesn't make as much sense actually. We'll just have this be the break even chart and then you can see this, these numbers here if you want. All right, that's all I got. I'm gonna, this will be a mid-level model, so f that means it fits in with all the other models at $45 if you want to buy it from me. And obviously, if you need help, um, I do charge $40 an hour. And what I imagine you would need help with if you were trying to do this yourself with my template is figuring out what your variable costs are. That's probably the hardest thing. Um, so I'm happy to help you. I have a pretty good amount of free time every week. I just I plan my hours every week, and then when I fill up, I just don't take on any more work. Um, and right now, it's not like I'm booked out for more than really one week. I have uh, pretty open, you know, with if we go out one week in time, you know, I have a pretty decent open schedule. And also, I like to get things done quickly. So if it comes in, I like to get it right back out as fast as I can. All right, this is smarthelping.com, and this is the first model I've done in my new home. I feel at peace. It's, it's getting sunny out. Uh, I'm getting outside to play some basketball tomorrow. Good things. And, you know, working is definitely one key to happiness is staying busy. So that's what I'm trying to do here as my contract work is getting a little slow over the weekend. Uh, Hope everybody... You know, get some value out of this, and I'll see you guys on the next one.